I made a program that randomizes your in-game sensitivity in Apex Legends while you're playing, and this is how you use it. I'm going to start off with a quick overview of what it looks like when it's actually running. So I'm going to turn it on. Now that it's on, you can see that it tells me what bind I've set to actually randomize my sensitivity. If I press that bind, Alt plus X, now my sensitivity changed in game. Well, it doesn't change instantly because of the way that this works is that it binds WASD. Your WASD keys are bound to updating your sensitivity. So as soon as I move here, you can see my sensitivity changed. If I hit it again, see it changed again. I just hit it until we get a satisfactory sensitivity. Now there's also a live text output that you can put into OBS. So if I enable this in OBS here, this text scene, you can see that it will automatically update the text in that scene to reflect the sensitivity that the program chooses. And of course, because this is just an OBS text source, you can style the text however you want. Now, before I show you the setup process, I kind of want to show you how I know that this is completely anti-cheat safe. Because looking at a program like this, your first thought is probably going to be how is this distinguishable from, say, like an aimbot. Now, the way the program works is entirely auto-exec or config based. So it doesn't intercept your mouse at all. It doesn't do anything with your mouse. The only thing that it edits is text files. I'll quickly walk you through how it works so that you can tell that it's completely safe. And then I'll show you how to set the program up. Now this here is my config folder inside of my Apex Legends game directory. And these four files will be generated for you when you run the program. Auto exec, disable rando, enable rando, and random sense. Now auto exec, if you already have one, don't worry. It's not going to delete it and overwrite it. It will simply just append this command to your auto exec if it already exists. So in your auto exec, the only thing that happens is that it sets bind F6 to exec enable rando. So whenever you hit F6, it'll execute the file called enable rando.cfg in this folder. Now enable rando is what binds WASD to forward, back, move, left, and right as normal, but also every time you press any of these keys, it executes random sense. And then it also binds your F7 key or whatever hotkey you set to disable to unbind this again. Now if we open up random sense, you can see here that random sense has a mouse sensitivity that is currently equal to my default sensitivity because I turned off the randomizer. If I start the randomizer again and then hit my hotkey, you can see this file is now been updated. If I reload it, you can see that it is now 0.97 as reflected in the program. Now I can also hit F7 to unbind this again and that runs disable rando. So essentially what it does is it unbinds this exact random sense part of WASD. And then on top of that, it also sets your sensitivity back to whatever you set as your default sensitivity in the program. As you can tell, the only reason this works is that it executes auto execs through your config files, and it only edits those text files. This is no more intrusive than a normal auto exec. Now all you need to do is download the program from its GitHub repository in the description below. Now, as soon as you open the program, you're going to be greeted with this. The first thing you want to do is set your game directory by either hitting this auto detect button. And if auto detect doesn't work, you're going to want to browse or you can just right click Apex Legends, go to properties, go to installed files and hit browse here. From here, you can just copy this directory that pops up and paste it into the sex field. While you're here, you're also going to want to go to general and your steam properties. And you also want to add exec auto exec to your launch options if you don't already have that. From here, just set whatever settings you want. Uh, the settings that I usually do are 0.7 default, 0.35 minimum, 1.9 max at 1600 DPI, which is the DPI that I play on. Now, the DPI is only relevant for calculating your centimeters per 360. Uh, so you can set this to whatever and the, the program will work the same. Now these three buttons on the side, that's that set a bind. The first one is the one that you actually hit while you're playing to randomize your sensitivity. So in my case, I like using X and I like using Alt X to randomize my sense. You can also use a timer. So the timer will randomize your sensitivity every 15 seconds or however many seconds you set it to. Now enable and disable in game are the binds that essentially will bind and unbind exec random sense from your WASD keys in game. So these keys you press while you're in game. I like using F6 and F7. You can also set them both to the same key. If you want them to be a toggle, it works just fine. And you can also just leave it enabled as long as you remember to hit stop randomizer after you're done instead of just exiting out. Because when you hit stop randomizer in the program, it will set the random sense file. The command that's in there will be set to whatever is in your default sensitivity. 
meaning that whenever you hit WASD, it will just go to your default sensitivity, which if that's the sensitivity you normally play on, it will not change. Now your first time running the program, I would recommend pressing save settings, but hitting start randomizer also executes the same command as save settings does. But I recommend just pressing save settings and looking in your CFG folder in your Apex Legends directory. Make sure that these three files get generated. The random sense one will be generated as soon as you hit your randomized sensitivity bind. So don't worry about that just yet. Now make sure that if you had your game open while you added this command to your launch options that you restart your game. And if you didn't have it open, just start it from here. Now as soon as you're in game, jump into whatever you want to do. I recommend firing range first just to make sure that everything works. And once you have control of your character, you can press your enable bind, which in my case, F6. I set it up to be a toggle here. And then from there, I want to press start randomizer. So here we go. And I have a timer running, so let's set the timer to something lower. Let's say like five seconds just to showcase it. If I start the randomizer, it's going to instantly randomize my sensitivity. Here right now, it should be 1.13, which as you can see it is. I walk around a little bit more, 1.26, 1.14. Point eighty four, and so on. Now, if you have the timer enabled, you can still hit the bind to randomize it further. So if I had Alt X while the timer is running, it will still randomize it on top of the timer. I'm sorry about the infinity view, but I just want to showcase how you add the text source in OBS. So you want to add a text source, name it whatever you want, and then you want to check this read from file setting here. From here, you want to browse to whatever directory you installed the Apex Sense Randomizer in. And then from here, you want to go inside of the config folder and you want to select current sensitivity.txt. And it should show up with the same sensitivity that the program is currently outputting. And you can change the font and whatever you want with this text source. I mean, that's pretty much all there is to it. It just randomizes your sensitivity. So have fun.